Hi, I'm Debbie from The Cold Journal, and today I want to show you this exciting new ruler foot that is out by Accents and Design called the Clarity Ruler Foot. Um, and it is just an awesome foot that Carol Olson, as I said over at Accents and Design, has just put out. Um, I'm happy enough to say that I was one of the beta testers on this foot, as Carol has really worked hard to come out with a great product. And she has asked people with all different kinds of machines to beta test these on their different brands and give her feedback, and she's made adjustments um, to the design as time has gone by to come out with this really awesome product. I want you to look and see how clear this foot is. I don't know if you can really see that, but um, you can see the stitching right through that foot. It is really made out of a very strong polycarbonate. And as you can see, she put a little dip here in the front. I'm trying to see if you can focus on that um, to even give you better needle visibility as you stitch. Um, she included in in your along with the directions that come in the bag on how to install it and i have to say carol has some fantastic videos on her website showing you the proper way to put your ruler foot on she included this 1 8 disc which is what you use to measure the height of your ruler foot um, properly placed on your machine really doesn't matter what machine you're on that's a fantastic height for almost all battings and then this little washer to really snug up this foot and give it a good firm fit up against your shank anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my machine so you can see it in action and see you know we have tried this not just with accents and design rulers but with all different types of rulers just to make sure and get you know great feedback on how it works so let's go ahead put it on my other my dream machine and you guys can get a look at it okay here we are with the foot installed you can see how beautifully clear it is um, I just a couple things I want to go over with you real quick when drawing up your threads whether it's this foot or another ruler foot, ruler thumb, um, no matter what you do, is always lower your presser foot. Make sure your presser foot is down before going ahead and drawing up, you know, lowering your needle and bringing it up. If that's not the case, when this needle bar comes down, it can smack that foot and either damage the foot or damage your machine. So regardless of whether you're on this machine or some other machine, the, the process is always going to be the same. You're going to make sure your foot is lowered, then lower your needle and bring up your threads and draw them to the top. All right, and the other thing I want to point out with this wonderful ruler foot, the clearance. I do have a high shank um, foot on this brother that I have. Now, some of your clearances are going to va uh, vary. If you have a low shank um, ankle on your machine, you might have a little less room than my machine with a high shank. So you're going to have to play with that and figure out what is your clearance for your machine. So, but on this, you can see coming down, left side is almost always perfect. I can go across the front, no problem. And then even up the left side with this high shank. Now these pegs on the accents and designs sometimes can smack, but I still in tight spots where you just have to go that way, you can actually fit and have great clearance. And I have done across the back on this also for my machine. I can snug it in there and if I really have a you know, spot that I need to quilt, and I don't want to turn my whole quilt, I can get around it. So the clearance on this little puppy is just wonderful. The other thing I want to point out is for this foot, I don't have to buy some oddball special width rulers. These are standard long arm quarter inch thick rulers. Um, and, you know, I don't have to go 3 8 or something smaller so that it will go around um, my foot. And if I'm using something that doesn't have pegs and I go around this, um, I really have wonderful clearance. I have absolutely no problems going around 
this ruler foot got a little chatter there but um, I was picking up my my ruler but you can see that basically all the way around I have great clearance so anyway here we go and I just wanted to show you guys this wonderful new product I hope that you enjoy it I hope you give it a try the other thing I want to point out is I don't in any way shape or form make any money on this ruler foot I just um, know Carol at accents and design and she's put out a really great product um, the pricing on this foot is awesome um, for domestic sewing machines um, right now and this is the summer of 2016 they're starting at $24 and depending upon the type of machine low shank to a high shank single stitch they the price range is $24 to $30 depending upon what machine you have that is just an awesome foot that puts a ruler foot in almost everybody's um, future anyway um, oh one last thing that I do want to point out to you now that I've cut my threads um, make sure my foot is down I just love this foot from the aspect of its visibility so when I'm done doing ru ruler work and I need to jump off into something else and just do regular free motion my visibility on this is just awesome and so I can just you know kind of take a step back keep going and free motion and my visibility is beautiful and when I'm ready I can go back Put my ruler on and do my ruler work. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Debbie from the Quilt Journal. Happy quilting!